Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2015 Jeep Renegade Trailhawk. This one is finished off in a Colorado red exterior, which looks fantastic on the vehicle. Along the driver's side, you can see your very lightly tinted privacy glass for the rear passengers, as well as up top, this one does have the black roof, which provides a very nice contrast, and your roof rails up top. Body colored door handles, of course, and your black mirrors with turn signal indicators built in. Trail rated badge right there. And these really are such cool looking little SUVs. I really am a fan of the exterior styling and it's the perfect size. On the rear, the Trailhawk does give you some aggressive touches like the tow hook down below. You have your 4x4 badge and Trailhawk badge right there. And you can see the very interesting uh, taillight design on this one as well. On the passenger side, fuel cap is right here. Just press and it will release. It is a capless system as well too. And down below, this one is riding on Goodyear Wrangler SRA tires. They are P215-65R17s, so 17-inch alloy wheels. These are the dark finished Trailhawk wheels, rear disc brakes, of course. And these look like relatively new tires as well. They're in fantastic shape. Everything follows through on this side as well. And up front, you do have halogen headlights, your fog lights down below, and tow hooks on the front of the Trailhawk. Some accenting up top with the black right there. And you can see inside of your headlights, this vehicle has all kinds of little cool touches like that all around. It does look like a old Jeep front end. This one does include your newer Jeep switchblade key fob right there with lock. Unlock, panic, just press and hold. And your logo on the other side. And like I said, it is a switchblade. Inside, this one does have the charcoal black cloth interior which is in great shape. You have your Trailhawk badges on the seats as well. And to start it, just insert the key right here and just turn to start. Go ahead and close the door. And inside of this Jeep, you have a leather wrap steering wheel, your audio system and cruise controls on the wheel. Very light power steering as well. And it is a nice three-spoke steering wheel with your grips up top. It's all pretty much as you'd expect inside. It is a really rugged interior because it's a Jeep. But everything fits together pretty nicely. You have a padded armrest. All the touch points are very nice. Door handle right there. All of your power windows, power locks, and power mirrors. And if you are familiar with Chrysler products, you will notice this is kind of a uh, more modern and updated switch gear design right there. Headlight controls over here. Push for fogs. You do have your gauge dimmer and interior lighting controls, all of that over here. Different red accents throughout the interior as well. On the shifter, cup holders, and on the doors right there. On the door itself too, you do have your speakers for the audio system down below. And you can see what I mean just about more of the cool little design touches like that right there. You even have on the seats this very interesting pattern. You do have some text right there, which is very cool. It says to new adventures. Just little things like that hidden throughout the interior. Up top, some leather stitching above the steering wheel, and you can see your gauges. Very interesting design. You have a full color display in the center, which you can scroll through. You can go through all kinds of settings, things like that right there. Your tachometer, and then the speedometer. Dashboard materials are all rubberized. They fit together great. It's a pretty padded material. You have two air vents in the middle. Right here is your audio system, your radio, media, phone, compass. You can actually turn the display on and off, and all of that, very easy to use. You can go through here, we'll show your outside temperature, clock, things like that. And it is a touch screen. It does have satellite radio. Just like that. Down below, hazard controls, single zone manual climate control, easy to use, all of your different knobs, things like that. And your four wheel drive lock down here. You can also change between your different modes like auto, sand, snow, mud, and rock. Auxiliary in, USB, 12 volt outlet, and this one does have the nine speed automatic transmission. Manual mode, and the manual mode is done correctly where you go down to upshift and up to downshift. Reverse. Rear backup camera, of course, which will come up on the display right there. Do have your traction control on and off, parking brake right here, and some more storage down below. Like I said, the liner around your cup holders is painted. Padded armrest in the center. Storage inside of there with another USB port. Seats in this vehicle are actually very comfortable. It's a very durable, heavy feeling cloth. Holds you in nice, you don't slide around on it, and it feels like it'd be very easy to clean as well. Like I said, you have the cool pattern in the middle of the seats. Up top, 
you are manually dimming your view mirror and that right there on the side different interior lighting controls things like that up in the middle and you do have your visors with the anti mirrors built in and extensions if you bring it over to the side handles we'll go ahead and step out of this one automatic driver's side window down well, the doors are unlocked and pop the hood right there back seat of this renegade go ahead and step in everything follows through on the back door panel material quality wise you do have a padded armrest and the painted trim down below stepping into the back seat itself Honestly, for the size of this, the back seat's a great place to be. It's comfortable. It's the same cloth as up front. Very high quality feeling. You fit back here very well. I'm 6'2". I can sit behind myself perfectly fine. There are back seat pockets on each side. And especially since this one is a model without a sunroof, you have a fantastic amount of headroom back here. Interior lighting controls up top. inside of the trunk just go ahead and release it and you have plenty of storage inside actually once again a pretty nice amount of room for the size of this vehicle subwoofer for your audio system built in right there as well as you do have different hooks tie downs things like that right here very cool feature a lot of jeeps include this is built in and it's always plugged in and charging you have a flashlight which is included with it and it just has its own little spot right there where it will mount. Uh, power outlet up top as well as some illumination. Storage below all of that which does include a full size spare tire. Everything underneath of there, all your jack, tools, everything else. Go ahead and bring that back down. And on this side everything follows through. Inside of here, once again, you can drop the seat down from right here as well. And have a flat loading floor. And up front, everything follows through on this door. Manual passenger seat. You do have your handle up here on the dash. Very interesting design. As well as below that, inside the glove box. This one does include your state inspection certificate, looks like the accessory user guide right there, and everything else owner's literature wise is included in the wallet down below. And up front you do have halogen headlights, fog lights, and under the hood. This one is equipped with Jeep's 2.4 liter multi-air engine. Everything under here is in great shape, running fantastic. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. And just cut it off right here. Just go ahead, remove the key, and put the headlights back into automatic mode. So let's cut the fog lights off. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video.